Hey guys, so something you may see me say now and then and something that's in my book some is uh, the phrase, we are already in anarchy. So I want to talk briefly, just for a second, because I have nothing better to do <laughs> about the spiritual implications of what I mean by anarchy. And first I'd like to say that all political systems are reflections of the psychology of all the participants involved. Because there's no political system actually there. There's only an implicit agreement happening between individual, autonomous, free bodies, organisms, that are really their own authorities. And the mind has, is projecting a system in which there's an external authority called a president, congress, this or that board. And, and, and it's a delusion. And the reason we think that someone else has any power over us is, is this backwards situation where be, because our whole history has been based on a hallucination in which the head, the brain, is coordinating and controlling the body, then we externalize this delusion and create a figurative head which is controlling the body politic of the entire uh, territory that we call a country. There, there's also no country there. The, the instinct to the create a sort of territory is the same instinct as creating and sequestering off our own identities from the world around us. It's a delusion. So when I say we're already in anarchy, I mean when we perceive reality correctly, because probably the most uh, unattractive thing about me is I'm all the time implying that the ma vast majority of our species right now has an incorrect perception of themselves in reality. That's not going to win you many popularity contests except with the cool people. <laughs> and. Uh, when you perceive reality correctly, when you fix this misperception of reality in yourself, you understand that there's no authority because there's no free will, there's no controller uh, of the organism. So there can be no controller from any body to any other body. And, and the reason this seems so infeasible is because we say, oh, well, there's all these terrible things happening everywhere. What do you mean there's no oppressor? What about all these victims? And we even think it's delusional to quote-unquote blame the victims. Well, guess what? I know this isn't going to be popular, but the thing is that the only reason we have this dichotomy, this duality between victim and oppressor, is only, only, only because we have created already the situation, all of us together, in which we have this idea that we're small and helpless and um, and we're control, not only in control of our life, but that we have to be in control of our life because life is something fearful that we have to distrust. Well, you don't have to control something that you trust, right? That's good advice for relationships, it's good advice for anything. You don't have to control something that you trust. Say it again, you don't have to control something that you trust at all. So, again, we have this uh, situation where the political, the basis of politics is a distrust of life based in a malperception of ourselves and misperception of reality. <laughs> so, um, anarchy, on the other hand, is fundamentally, if it's taken as most literal thing, which, like, uh, atheists will try to convince you that um, their system is, they'll, they'll often say, well, uh, atheism isn't a, real, a belief system or a religion because it's just the absence of a, be a belief, but they usually behave exactly like people who are religious in, in a be belief system of some sort. Um, uh, anarchy, in a real sense, what I mean by it is that they're really is no control system. It's not another system to replace the politics 
that we think are there already, and there's no system actually there. It's the absence of a system, and there is no system. <laughs> so, the, the experience of not being free and of being oppressed by circumstances is a reflection only of the internal bodily dynamics. And our bodies are constantly influencing in ways that aren't entirely understood yet the events that are happening around us. And, and this isn't just in the sense that we're creating things, because there's no controller, so creating things is actually a mysterious act in itself. Um, it's not just in the sense that we are creating the uh, political system to reflect our bodies in a very simple way. There's also that these experiences that happen to us seem to conform uh, without a discernible uh, cause and effect in time and space. They, our bodies seem coordinated to these experiences that happen to us based on what state they're putting out. Uh, based on what energy, if you'd like. And uh, energy is a pretty unprecise word, <laughs> but it's uh, everybody kind of feels out what it means. It just means uh, a feeling value to things. The base feeling value you have in every moment, you'll only experience things that correspond to that. If you're insecure, you'll experience a reality that will guarantee you're insecure. Uh, if you're confident, reality will, in a confident and good way, reality will sort of like uh, support you and things will go out and turn out right. <laughs> uh, I mean, anyone who's tried to have sex knows that. And, uh, I mean, go out and do it. So, um, it, our bodies are also influencing these events around us, and the point, coming back full circle, is that when we're trusting of our lives, trusting of nature, to go without the controller, the illusion of a controller there, um, then that's anarchy, because there's no system, there's no controller. Not only are we not controlling ourselves, we're no longer concerned with controlling other people. Then people might say, well, why are you posting all these Facebook posts if you aren't concerned with changing other people? I'm just sharing myself. I don't know why I'm doing it. I, I don't know how I'm doing it. All I know is I'm just sharing what I know for somebody to decide in their unconscious programming to change if they're drawn to it and if they read it. And I know that only the people who are meant to read my posts are going to read them. So there's no control in that. But as long as we distrust life, we think that there needs to be an externalized authoritarian system or political system specifically, specifically because we distrust each other, we distrust life, we think it's all going to fuck up, and it's based in fear. So we do have this basic polarity, as cliche as it sounds, between love fear. <laughs> and uh, fear is pointless. There's no fear. There's no reason to fear because we're fucked. <laughs> and if you have the attitude that everything is going to be fucked and you're going to be okay, then there's no problem. And everything suddenly gets better. So we are already in anarchy. And that means that there's nobody in the head do you see activity going on in here? I am not telling a lie. Are there thoughts going? <laughs> no, no. There's nobody in the head controlling the situation, and thus there's nobody anywhere is controlling anybody else. Don't be concerned with what you perceive as controlling you, other than to see how it does inside of you, and then to release it. You're already free. We're already in anarchy. Bottom out. Hit rock bottom. Explode. Be reborn. Live free. Or die. <laughs>